Good morning, everybody. This is K. Raghuram, Principal, Lachha Institute of Technology and Sciences, Kamman. Today, we will discuss the hysteresis loss in AC electrical machines. Actually, it is a part of core losses. Core losses are two types, hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. Eddy current loss, of course, it is a separate discussion. Hysteresis loss means it will be in the core. For example, you see a transformer. Transformer consists of core and windings. This is, of course, a three limb transformer. For this is known as limb. Center also limb is there. On the limb, there is winding. So, like that, around the core, there will be winding. Here, we have shown only two limbs for easy understanding. So, this is the first limb, means this is the core, just like this, just like center one. On this core, a winding is wound. This winding is known as primary winding and this winding is known as secondary winding. Now, let us come to the supply. AC voltage is given here. AC voltage means positive half cycle, negative half cycle. In this positive half cycle, direction of current will be like this. Whereas, in negative half cycle, direction of current will be opposite. Of course, in negative half cycle. Now, let us discuss only positive half cycle. Means, direction of current is like this. Now, you stretch your right hand like this. These are four fingers. Indicate winding like this. This thumb indicates upwards direction of flux. So, flux direction indica is indicated by the thumb. Winding indicates the direction of current. Like that, this flux will be upwards. So, this is the path for the flux. Then, this is going like this. You take a magnet. North pole, south pole. Flux lines will start from north pole and reach the south pole, like this. So, starting of flux lines means north pole. Entering of flux lines means south pole. Like that, north pole and south poles are fixed by right hand thumb rule. So, that is what is written here. In right hand thumb rule, direction of flux is shown by right hand thumb and remaining four fingers indicate the direction of current through the winding. Then, let us say 50 cycles per second frequency. Time period is 0 0.02 seconds per whole cycle. Cycle consists of two half cycles, positive half cycle and a negative half cycle. So, every half period changes IP from positive to negative. Means this is positive. Again, it is changing to negative. For every half cycle, it changes. Again, afterwards, it goes to positive. Means, how many half cycles we are getting for a particular second? If you want to calculate, you take half t, half period. Half period is 0 0.01 seconds. Half period. For every half period, changes IP from positive to negative, again negative to positive, vice versa. So, 1 by 0 0.01 means 100 times. Orientation of molecules of north and south poles. Orientation means direction. Direction of north and south poles will reverse. First, let us say this case, positive half cycle, means this. Positive half cycle, Orientation of small orientation means direction. Direction of molecules is upwards. So this is north pole and this is south pole. Of course, we call it as figure 2. This is only for first half cycle. Now let us go to second half cycle. Second half cycle it is negative. Means 
current direction is reversed like this when current direction is reversed again you put fingers like this like this means flux direction will be downwards means opposite direction of flux when flux direction is opposite bottom will be north pole again same thing you just observe like this so bottom north pole because current direction has reversed and top will be south pole so orientation of molecules comes downwards it will be downwards during negative half cycle again positive half cycle comes again orientation will be upwards means for every 0.01 seconds orientation changes molecules are like this again molecules are downwards again molecules are upwards like that 100 times per second the molecules are changing in their orientation or direction this is all a loss or wastage of energy so this wastage or loss of energy is known as hysteresis loss so hysteresis loss is the loss or wastage of energy due to continuous change of orientation of the molecules in the core core means this portion this portion of course center also core will be there so in the core portion these losses are occurring so this are known as core losses this is one core loss observed in case of transformer or any ac motor or any ac generator any ac machine means ac means positive and negative continuous change of course this loss can be minimized by choosing special silicon steel of course there is another way of also choosing that is by changing frequency but normally we observe or we want con constant frequency so we cannot change the frequency so that method will not be considered so using some special silicon steel or i can say high grade steel we can reduce the loss because finally this loss will be dissipated as heat special silicon steel will have less heat is produced means less power loss this is how power loss can be reduced in any ac electrical machines thank you for giving this opportunity thank you